We just published a book on diagnosis related groups in Europe where we compare the experience with these DRGs across uh, 12 countries in, in Europe. And what we see from the different country evidence really is that the main impact of this uh, payment system is that the policymakers, the purchasers of healthcare know much more what hospitals are doing. So the transparency is, is really up. The second effect we, we see is that the efficiency, so what the hospitals produce in terms of cases and services for patients for the money received has also gone up. Well, I think how you use DRGs for payment, so whether you pay every hospital the same uh, across the country or whether uh, purchasers like sickness funds in the Netherlands can um, negotiate the prices with the hospitals will really depend also on the expectations you have. So if you think that too little activity of the hospital is a, is a problem, which I think was one of the initial problems in England, for example, with waiting lists, then it's good to really be rather generous and pay every hospital. If you ha have other issues on your agenda, then a mix of these approaches is more appropriate. When we look ab about how DRG systems will develop, over the next uh, few years, we see a few um, challenges that people stay shorter and shorter in hospital during longer periods of chronic disease. And so we see also changes in the way uh, the ambulatory, the outpatient care providers are paid in terms of capitation and, and so on. But we will still see DRGs uh, within hospitals probably broader taking into account all the pre-inpatient stay activities and possibly also the post-inpatient stay activities like rehabilitation. So these things will be bundled into larger um, um, DRG groups within, within countries. Well, I think it's less about adding pay for performance to DRGs, but to wisely use DRG payments to improve the performance of, of hospitals. And when we see that primarily DRGs, besides transparency, incentivize efficiency per se, then clearly to improve performance, the quality bid is the, is, is the additional component. And so countries will try to mix these, these things, both by um, basing the, uh, the reimbursement per DRG category, at least for certain DRGs, no longer on actual costs of hospitals, but on something like what in the UK it would be termed best practice cost, which again is, is based on guidelines. So we would ex ante determine what is good quality, but also retrospectively check upon, upon hospitals whether certain critical quality elements have really been fulfilled. And it's, I think, more than a pr prediction that the DRG payment will then be adjusted upwards or downwards depending on, 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 on the quality achieved by the individual hospital.